Hello everybody, welcome back to TM3 Life. Thanks for joining us. Today we're gonna to discuss modifying the front trunk, or as we like to say in Tesla land, the frunk, to open automatically. This has been made famous, and I'm sure you've seen it before, or at least heard about it, from our friends at I1 Tesla. And just like to give them a big kudos, they're doing great work, I love their channel, and they seem like really nice people. So in our video, we're gonna show you how to do the modification, and then we're gonna discuss, should you do the modification? Coming up next. So this is what it looks like when you open your hood stock. And these struts do a fine job of lifting the hood up to where it needs to be. And they don't put any pressure on the hood whatsoever. Today, we're gonna be swapping out the old hood struts with some stronger hood struts that'll hopefully make this hood pop all the way up on its own. And then we're gonna be adding in the Max Piter Frunk Mat. So let's get to it, shall we? First thing we need to do is get the old struts off. And we're gonna have to do that one at a time and probably hold the hood in between so that the hood does not fall on us while we're doing this. So in order to prepare for that, I'm gonna get one of the new struts out right now so I can just pop it into place once I have one of the old struts removed. Okay, now that we got a new strut out of the package, we can remove one of the old struts. They're fairly easy to remove. You're just gonna need a small flathead screwdriver. And if I can show you right on the back here, just like on this, Screwdriver fits in there and you pull back on this a little bit and what that does is it releases tension on the inside of this ball joint connector and there's one of those on each side. So we're gonna try that and then we're just gonna snap this right in place. I've got one strut off and actually the other strut is strong enough to hold the hood so I don't have to. So let's go ahead and finish removing this strut and add the new one on. And it's as simple as that folks. There's the old strut. Set this right in the front here. And we'll put the new strut in place. And to do that, we're just gonna put it right over the balls and snap it in place. Here we go, one new strut installed. Now on to the other one. Now I suspect with the new strut being that it's stronger, it definitely won't have to hold the hood. If the old single strut was able to hold the hood up on its own, this new strut will do just fine. I've got my new strut ready to go. I'm gonna place that right here. We're gonna go ahead and remove the old strut on this side. As you can see, that strut's doing a great job holding the hood up all on its own. Now I just gotta remove the bottom part. And 
There we go. Old strut is off. Let's pop the new strut on. Hopefully from that angle you can see just how easy of a job this actually is. There we go. Struts are in place. Shall we give it a try? First thing that I need to test is how much tension is actually going to be on this hood. Because this is an aluminum hood and the last thing we want to do is pull real hard on the end and have that hood bend. Because then we're in a whole heap of trouble with a very expensive part to replace. So let's go easy. Quite a lot of pressure on that. Let's give it a whirl. Let's see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and pop open my app here and pop the hood and see if it opens all the way up for us. That's what we're looking for. Since the hood is open, let's go ahead and put in our new Max Piter mat. I am going to leave the old mat in here just to give it something to secure itself to a little bit better. The bottom of the Max Spider mat has some nice grippy material and it's not going to grip real well to the plastic tub here. So we're going to leave the mat in place so it can grip real well to it. Here's our new Max Spider frunk mat. Let's go ahead and drop that right in. As expected, anything from Max Spider fits like a glove. Now we've got Max Spider mats on the inside of the car and out here too. Now we just need to order the trunk one for the rear and we'll be fully outfitted with Max Spider mats. Now it's time for Snapple Facts. Okay. Two caps at random. Fact number one. In South Korea, it is against the rules for a professional baseball player to wear cabbage leaves inside of his hat. <laughs> Not really sure what to think about that one. I didn't know I didn't know that was a thing. So I guess if you plan on playing baseball in South Korea, no cabbage leaves under your hat. Keep that in mind. Fact number two, Shakespeare created the name Jessica from his play, The Merchant of Venice. Interesting. Again, these are supposed to be real facts, so I guess the name Jessica, we can all thank William Shakespeare for that. Okay. Catch you on the next Snapple Facts. Hey everybody, so just as a disclaimer, I did notice that once the hood was shut, the struts lie right about in here when the hood is closed, and I did notice that the increased pressure of those extra strong struts did, it was starting to raise up the edge of the hood above the fender on both sides. And my thought is that after a certain amount of time, that will eventually bend the hood permanently in that position. So that's not something that I want to do. Um, and I, I guess I really don't want to kind of put that extra strain on the hood. So for now, I went back to stock. And this is just how it's going to be. So it is what it is. And I think we're better off this way. But I wanted to let you guys know. I'll try it, and then you make your own decisions. And as always,
let's keep those batteries charged.